subscribe ke YouTube channel. Kembali lagi di episode My Tips Wedding with Harumi. Dan hari ini kita udah di Soulbox dan akan ngikutin Harumi gimana sih kira-kira workout exercise dia sebelum pernikahan ini. Jadi buat kamu calon pengantin yang lagi pengen tahu harus olahraga apa, bisa ngikutin banget video ini, episode ini karena bakal lupas banyak banget nih kira-kira olahraga apa yang cocok untuk dilakukan sebelum pernikahan. Dan jangan lupa juga untuk tonton sampai habis karena nanti akan ada satu voucher dari Soulbox senilai Rp250.000 Dan caranya gampang, kamu tinggal tonton sampai habis dan kasih komen yuk kita langsung ketemu hari ini sekarang Hai semuanya, jadi selamat datang lagi di My Tips Wedding bersama Harumi Nah hari ini kita mau workout bareng Harumi Jadi kan Harumi udah mau nikah ya, berapa bulan lagi nih? Uh, sekitar sebulan lagi ya Nah kita pengen tahu gitu loh Harumi tuh uh, persiapannya Selain yang lain nih Vendor segala macam Kalau misalkan exercise-nya tuh kayak gimana gitu. Nah tapi sebelumnya orang-orang nih pada penasaran sih Kalau kita penasaran Harumi tuh sering gak sih workout sebelumnya Sebelum mau nikah ini gitu Aku tuh suka workout oh, Cuman ya mut-mutan hmm. Kadang kalau lagi males bisa kayak Tiga bulan gak workout Kayak bakal hmm. 6 bulan gak workout Kalau Harumi sendiri kan memilih ini Soulbox sebagai tempat exercise yes. Tapi sebenarnya apa sih kira-kira pertimbangan hmm. buat orang-orang lain nih Kalau misalkan mau mencari tempat exercise atau gym lainnya yes. gitu. okay. Nah kalau aku pribadi pilih Soulbox karena aku gak terlalu suka gym yang serius banget hmm. Yang kayak, hah, oh, 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 kok yes. gitu kan kayaknya cowok-cowok berotot semuanya gitu kan Jadi aku pilih tempat yang lebih feminin lah lebih feminin. Ah. Nah terus ya, yang kedua juga sekarang tuh aku lumayan terbantu juga dengan menggunakan aplikasi memilih tempat workout itu loh oh, okay. Itu tuh aku lumayan banyak bereksperimen dengan banyak tempat Supaya tahu ya? Uh, supaya tahu, karena memang terutama di daerah ya, di Jakarta lah sekarang hmm. udah banyak banget tempat workout yang bagus-bagus keren sesuai dengan kepribadian kita hmm. dan itu supaya seperti apa Yang menjadi bahan pertimbangan juga adalah ya, harus bersih tempatnya hmm. kita udah bayar membership ataupun cuma drop in class doang kita kan mau tempatnya nyaman untuk bisa hmm. uh, ganti baju ataupun uh, mandi sekalian gitu jadi itu hal-hal yang perlu diperhatikan sih kalau hmm. memilih tempat exercise nah kan Harumi udah nyoba nih berbagai macam hmm. kelas gitu yes. kalau dari Harumi sendiri favorit exercise itu apa sih Favorit exercise aku, aku suka kelas bar Terus dari gitu aku suka kelas kayak bootcamp hmm. Kit, gitu aku suka Terus trauma zumba juga aku Sampai baru beberapa kali itu Dan aku suka, aku memang suka kelas yang agak Agak ekstrim bikin keringetannya Karena kayak puas aja Dirasa, gitu Iya, puas Tapi kalau misalnya aku lagi pengen rada rada chill Itu aku suka yoga juga Pilates kadang-kadang gitu Jadi aku kombinasi sih low intensity workout sama yang high intensity Iya, gitu. juga gitu kan, yes. ada balance ya. Ada balance. Nah, kalau misalnya olahraga, itu kan gak lengkap kalau misalkan gak ditunjang dengan nutrisi yang bagus juga gitu kan. Nah, kalau Harumi sendiri gimana sih? Mungkin ada diet tips selama olahraga ini yes. atau gimana? Bener sih, karena mencapai badan ideal, 70% is made in the kitchen. Oke. Okay. 30% is made in the gym. Hmm. That's what they say. Tapi itu bener banget, karena uh, untuk persiapan utama hari H, pasti segala-galanya lebih ekstra karena nah, ya. walaupun gaya hidup sehat ataupun pola makan sehat itu harusnya diterapkan dari sehari-hari, ya. sehari-hari gitu tapi kalau buat aku nomor satu sih yang penting uh, kurangi sodium mungkin makanan manis-manis juga dikurangi bubble tea bubble tea nya nah, di weekend ya, kan? aja hmm. gitu terus kalau yang lain-lain sih diet diet makanan kayak ngikutin yang terlalu sehat juga kalau kalian nggak bisa ngikutin takutnya ntar yoyo jadi Benar. udahlah pilih aja ya yang kalian bisa ikutin dan terapkan gak cuma pada saat menuju persiapan hari H tapi selamanya gitu nah kan udah nih ngobrol-ngobrolnya sekarang kita pengen tahu nih workout hari ini tuh kayak gimana gitu yes. jadi boleh ya kita ikut ke kelasnya ya? boleh dong oh, yuk okay. let's nah, work out On Instagram, so Andre here is the head coach at Soulbox, also my beloved trainer. So I've been training with Andre for the past one month, menuju hari ha. So I will ask you some questions okay. uh, to prepare brides to be or even groom to be for their big day. Okay. Um, actually, 
actually there is not much difference in between someone that is going to get married or not. Mm -hmm. Always is a good time to, to, to start work out, yeah? If you have uh, some time and you can plan this time, like let's say for you in your case it's going to be around the three months, mm -hmm. right? Before the, the big day. Mm -hmm. Well, we can really uh, plan from now until that time to reach your goals mm -hmm. and depending on the, the, the way you're going to work out. Exactly. So you would say minimum three months is a good yeah, time it's to start? Yeah, it's around two months, three months is going to be uh, quite okay to, to reach some goals. Yeah, if yes. you have that, um, you need some training for this time so you can you can reach that, yes. Uh, at first, in, in the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do an uh, assessment yes. about uh, the, the body composition mm -hmm. to see how is your condition right now. Mm -hmm. So from there, we're going to um, make the, the workout a little bit more focused on uh, weights, mm -hmm. let's say, to, to get some um, muscles. Or if you're going to need to be a little bit more into a cardio type workout. Mm -hmm. We have plenty of class here that mm -hmm. goes in, in both ways. Mm -hmm. And then the trainer, after this uh, first assessment mm -hmm. with the body composition, is going to guide you and, and, and direct you into, the, into this way. Okay. Uh, also, uh, especially about the, the, the personal trainer, uh, as the sessions are uh, going on, mm -hmm. we're going to always uh, try to, to, to work out in the things that mm -hmm. you might need a little bit more. Let's say a core, or lower body or upper body. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends. Each one is, is, is different. Okay. So, mm -hmm. can you show us some moves that we can do at home right. without no equipment, maybe they don't have no time to visit the gym. Can you show us some moves? Yes, we're going to do it basically like uh, three moves uh, today, right? Okay. One movement is going to be based on the lower body, mm -hmm. the other movement is going to be based on the core, mm -hmm. and the third movement is going to be based on the upper body. So it's a complete workout that you can do it at home in 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. It's going to be quite fun. Okay, so let's do it. So the first movement I'm going to explain to you is a squat movement, is a base movement for the lower body. Yeah? Use a little bit of the core as well, but basically it's on the, the, the lower body. Mm -hmm. So first you're going to get your feet a little bit wider than your hips distance. Mm -hmm. Make sure your knees and your toes is somehow point in the same direction. Mm -hmm. From here just start to push your butt back and down and reach your arms in front. And from there you bring all the way up. So we do it? How many times? Yes, yeah, so you can do this movement as around 15 reps. A little bit more, a little bit less, it's going to be basically up to you. Since you are not using any weights, this might be easy. If you want to go around 20 reps, it's going to be quite fine as well. And this is good to slim thighs and tone the, the pitch area. Yes, yeah, it's going to basically work on your, on your muscles, especially on the legs muscles. Yeah? Legs muscles are a big muscles group on the body. It's something that's going to make you, let's say, burn a little bit more. Okay. That's a compound movement so far. Okay, the movement you're going to mm -hmm. do now is the plank. Okay. It's the movement that basically works on your core. Uh, that's not only a core uh, movement, this one. It's going to feel on the upper body, on the lower body so far. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So, let's start from here. First thing you're going to do it is get your knees a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. Put your forearms on the ground, so a little bit in front. Yes. I'll take your chest away from the floor, so we're going to feel a little bit on the upper back. Eyes on the ground, knees off of the floor, and then the plank is there. There we go. Normally, your hips and your shoulders are going to be somehow on the same level. You are in a perfect position. Just stay there. You feel already right now on yes. the abs, on the upper body, on the legs, right? Good. Shaking. So if you need an option from this movement, just drop your knees down. Okay. Take the same position. Yes. Oh, like this. So that's an easy way to do it. I mean, for people who are going to start, yes. if they're able to go on the toes, on the toes. So mm -hmm. try again, knees off, and just hold. So as you see, this is a movement that it really makes the people feel the, the, yes. the workout in the muscle so far, yeah? So this can be done by time, like mm -hmm. 10 seconds, uh, 20 seconds, 30 mm -hmm. seconds, and you can always add more sets or more time to make it a little bit more. Okay. The third movement we're going to do today is mm -hmm. we call push-up. Push-up? Okay. Everybody knows what is a push-up, right? So we're going to just try to find some uh, adjusting positions so you can make it in a good way, yeah? Okay. But this is a movement that basically goes on the, okay. from the upper body mm -hmm. and works a lot into your core, yeah? Mm -hmm. So first thing, you're going to need your hands a little bit wider than that. So if you take your shoulders as the start position, the hands are supposed to be a little bit wider than that. Good. 
One important thing that most of people neglect when they do the push-ups is the position of their hands. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you try to spread your fingers on the floor so you're going to have a good base ground here. It's going to be make easier for you to do the push-ups. Mm -hmm. right? So from that position, just take your knees a little bit backward. Yeah. Keep your knees and your toes on the ground. Take your shoulders now back away from your ears. And your eyes are going to be on the floor. Then you start to bend your elbows and bring your face down. And from somewhere, you're going to push back. <laughs> yes. That somewhere is so Go ahead. high. Bring it down and push back. And fine. Good. Just ready to bring it back. Yep. But most girls hate this push up because they are afraid or their arms are like bulky. Yeah. Exactly. Is that true? Uh, that's not going to happen unless they do a push up with some weights on the back or something like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's um, The thing is, most of girls are like a afraid of push-up one because they cannot do properly so they think that is a, a let's say a bad movement or something like that actually it's a very good uh, movement that works on the full body uh, upper body mostly and gonna give you a lot of strength in lots of parts on the chest on the shoulders yeah. and a lot around the core as well thank you Andre I feel Welcome. strong already <laughs> so we have mm -hmm. a surprise giveaway right. for the lucky comment mm -hmm. to do a free class with you, your yeah. bootcamp class, the okay. famous bootcamp class. So what you want to do is just comment below and Andrea will pick the best comment to join us for our bootcamp class at Hellbox. Right. So where should they find you on social media? Okay, basically on the Soulbox uh, Instagram, mm -hmm. you can check. Mm -hmm. There is the schedule about the class, there is the description about the class. Mm -hmm. uh, I teach here uh, basically a bootcamp class, mm -hmm. but uh, TRX class, mm -hmm. AGIT class, mm -hmm. there is a few different classes that the people can join. Not only my class, but the other trainers as yes. well. We have plenty of uh, class for everybody. Yes. Uh, cardio base, yes. strength base, yes. stretching, everything. Okay. Yes. That's good. So, uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you.